Hi everybody, it's Josh here from Alternative Brewing, and today we're going to be comparing the three Kinu coffee hand grinders, starting in order of their weight going upwards from the lightest to the heaviest, and not surprisingly ascending in costs too. We have the Phoenix at 700 grams, the Simplicity at 965 grams, and the top of the line Kinu M47 Classic hand grinder at 1170 grams. Now my top pick of these grinders is the simplicity. And I'll explain a little bit more on that on the moment. But we all know the best part of any good comparison video is to crown a winner amongst them. And this was hard to do because I really like some things about the Phoenix and the simplicity that I don't like about the classic and vice versa. So if I were to take each of the grinders abilities to grind really good grinds and then compare them across different grind settings, I really couldn't say that one of these grinders will outperform another here. And I suspect this has something to do with the fair amount of similarities between each of these grinders. I will say the M47 Classic was a clear winner when it came to purely making grinding easy. I'm gonna put this down to the addition of a couple of extra 100 grams weight in the Classic, giving it perhaps some extra centrifugal force, and the grinding action was super smooth and effortless, more so than the other two. Not that they weren't easy at all though. Here's my analogy or take on this. If you've ever had to use a 250 gram hand grinder with 30 millimeter burrs, you know you feel every little bit of that grinding action through the rotations and you even have it catch occasionally whilst grinding. And if that's like you're on a skateboard and you're going down a dirt gravel road, then using any one of these three Kinu hand grinders is like you're in a car and you're driving over a pile of brown leaves. They really are super smooth. And I know this is not a very good comparison across the model's performances, but I really had trouble discerning between each of them which one would do the best. So let's move on down through the grinders and see what else there is. The handles, there's really nothing to see here or compare other than the classic having a little bit of stainless steel trimming, they're all identical here. And they also all use the same micro grind adjustment mechanism up the top, each with 50 markings per full rotation of the dial and at one one hundredth of a millimeter burr movement per adjustment. The major difference here though is that the classic does have a click feel system, which is a step setting adjustment that provides tactile feedback during grind adjustments and rotating of the handle. Now, this is probably my least favorite feature on any of the Kinus, simply because I prefer the stepless feel of the Phoenix and the Simplicity, a little bit smoother without those clicks. But I also know you can remove that click system if you want. It's the bodies of the Kinus where you see the greatest differences. The Phoenix and the Simplicity both have ABS bean funnels, and although the Simplicities is in the same design as the Classics that's made from steel, I found no clear advantage here to any funnel with design or materials used. But the body of the Phoenix is made out of stainless steel, making it lighter, with ABS plastic support brackets on the inside of the grinder. Whereas the Simplicity and the Classic are both made completely from steel, with huge inner steel brackets supporting the bodies. Along with this, the Simplicity and the Classic promise their integrity of complete burr alignment to ensure almost no burr wobble and rubbing occurs. And this is done through a process known as Morse cone principle, which auto centers each of the burr sets. And for anti-slipping, on the outside of the Phoenix, you have a rubber band and there's a thumb stop on the Simplicity and the Classic. They really did their jobs just fine. I have chosen once again though to go the Classic here as the winner on body. And it has something to do with the finish of the Classic that makes it so. It does feel slightly more superior, nice and smooth compared to the Simplicity that shares a similar stainless steel finish as the Phoenix. The grinder's internals are all the same too, using dual ball bearings, steel drive axles and springs, and they each use the same 47 millimeter steel conical burrs that are black fusion treated burrs that keep the burrs sharper for longer. Each grinder will perform similarly to grind for Turkish all the way up to cold brew and everything in between. Then there's the grind receivers. The Phoenix and the Simplicity, again, both have ABS plastic cups that attach via an O-ring 
and they each hold 40 grams. Whereas the Classics is made from metal, it holds 35 grams and attaches with 11 magnets inset at the top of the cup. Now it is a concern that you'll need to replace the O-rings on the plastic cups eventually, and Kino have kindly added extra O-rings with your grinder. There is also a small lip issue on the ABS cups, and noticeably there is also a little bit of static buildup too, but honestly, I didn't find this a huge concern for retention whilst I'm dosing out. You can also pop out the bottom of these ABS cups for a thorough clean, which I thought was really cool. The steel cup, this has a neat O-ring on the bottom of it, so you're not banging up the steel always when you're putting it down on the table. It makes it really stable too if you want to grind on the bench, but for the sleekness of having metal with the magnets, it does make it a little hard to remove. And this creates a little bit of suction, so I preferred using the O-ring style of the ABS cups for this reason, and the fact that they had a larger capacity. Now, if you weren't already familiar with the Kinu hand grinders, then know that these are very well crafted and solidly built hand grinders that outperform a majority of other hand grinders when it comes to their ability to produce consistent grind sizes, as well as their precision of the grind size adjustment mechanism up top. So if you would like to know more about each of the grinders individually, then I'll add video links to the comments section below. What I did miss to mention though in those videos is how user-friendly the Kinu grinders are. For all of their high performance and accurate designs, you would imagine that they might be a little bit harder to pick up and use, say if you'd never seen a hand grinder before. But to Kinu's credit, these grinders really are very intuitive to use and make manually grinding coffee less of a chore. Overall, each of these grinders were very, very satisfying to grind with. And the reasons I chose the simplicity was that it had everything I like about the classic, without everything I don't like about the Classic. So the Simplicity has the extra five grams in the cup, it has that really easy O-ring removal, and it doesn't have the magnets like the Classic. But I can see this being a very popular model, I can understand that. Being their original grinder, it still is the epitome of Kinu's hard work. Not to leave the Phoenix out of the equation either, here I thought this was a great option for someone looking for a travel option. Albeit it's still 700 grams, it's still a fantastic grinder like all of Kinu's grinders, and really hasn't given me any reason not to like it. So whether you want to travel, you want the very best, or you're keen on having a superior hand grinder, then Kinu has it covered for you. So if you have any questions on either of these grinders, then throw them in the comment section down below. If you feel like I've missed something, add a question. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you subscribe and keep notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. We'll see you next time. <laughs>